It's way too early for this. Pueblo, Colorado almost hit 100 degrees on Tuesday. This kind of intense heat is actually a lot more common there next month. Uh, July is typically the warmest month in Pueblo and the warmest day usually falls between the 11th and the 15th. So this heat is way ahead of schedule. But in other parts of the country, this is exactly when the dog days are due to arrive. Okay, so let's talk about who sees their warmest day the earliest. That would be the desert southwest, all right? Parts of New Mexico, uh, Arizona, West Texas uh, will generally see their warmest day of the year kind of in mid to late June or early July. And you know, most of the country, it's generally July into the beginning of August, but there are a couple of outliers. Check, uh, check out the West Coast, especially the Pacific Northwest. Usually they'll see their warmest day of the year sometime in September, and then coastal parts of uh, California uh, in late August, all right? So there are a couple of outliers here and there. Uh, but for most people, of course, the warmest days are ahead over the next couple of months. It's already been very hot in the West, but over the next couple of days, it's actually going to get even hotter. Just this huge ridge of high pressure uh, sitting right over the Rockies and all those spots where you see red dots on the map, that's where we're likely to see record highs late this week. So. Basically, uh, what we're looking at is dozens of spots that are going to see record highs. We've got a lot of excessive heat watches, excessive heat warnings, uh, heat advisories, all that type of stuff out. Not only in the west, but also uh, up into the northern plains. Look at Omaha, Nebraska, forecast high of 108 on Thursday. Phoenix and Palm Springs up in the mid to upper 100 and teens. Yeah, that's pretty darn hot. That's dangerous heat for sure. And look at the morning lows. Upper 80s and low 90s for Palm Springs and Phoenix. Uh, same deal in Las Vegas. Very, very warm mornings here. This is going to be kind of a prolonged pattern, so it'll last through at least the end of June. Maybe not quite as bad in the southwest as we get deeper into the month, but bottom line is that in the west, uh, temperatures will be well above average for the foreseeable future. Well, following last year's devastating wildfire season, a sobering discovery. Researchers say that high elevation forests in the Rockies are burning now more than at any point in the last 2,000 years. Uh, even more, scientists at the University of Montana and University of Wyoming looked at fire history records and they found that last year's fires alone accounted for 72% of the total area burned in high elevation forests since 1984. They also say that wildfires are now burning twice as much area on average compared to the last two millennia. Now, high elevation forests typically burn less frequently than lower elevations and that's because they were once too wet to burn. Snow used to fall at high elevations well into summer and then start again early in the fall. But as that wanes, it allows flames to reach those areas. Researchers say that a high elevation forest used to burn once about every 230 years. Now it's every 120 years. It's a clear Hot, dry conditions are fueling two wildfires in Montana. The Robertson Draw Fire is burning near the Wyoming border. Officials issued evacuation orders throughout the day Tuesday as the fire exploded, growing from 200 acres to at least 2,000. And crews say it's likely even larger than that. Campgrounds and trails in the area are closed. The fire was spreading so fast, officials had to cancel a virtual public meeting because they couldn't spare a single firefighter. But that's not the only fire racing through Montana. The Deep Creek Fire has burned through 2,000 acres outside Helena. Evacuation orders were issued Tuesday when the flames crossed a highway. The inferno almost turned tragic when a helicopter crew crash landed while responding to the fire. But all five people on board got out safely. Hey, pipe up her.